guys, it's Chloe, and today I'm going to be doing the third part in my doll restoration series, and this is how to remove the neck string on your doll and put in a new one. So we're finally out of the bathroom, which means we're no longer doing things with water. Yay! So we're pretty much on to the last final stages. All I'm going to do now is take out the neck string, put the new one in, sew up the little holes, and tighten up the limbs. So of course to do all those things, my doll does need a neck string. And what actually happened to this doll is that he just has a zip tie back here. And on the Babas International video that I watched, it said that the zip tie dolls means that they you know, were sent to the doll hospital and things like that. So that's why they have a zip tie. Basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut it open and I am going to attach um, safety pins. These are the smallest ones I could find onto the elastic cord that I got from the rejuvenation kit and the link to that will be in the description box. Um, and then we're just gonna thread it through. If you guys have ever used a sewing machine before, or have ever sewed anything, and you put elastic um, in an elastic casing, this is basically what I'm just gonna do. Now the Babas International Company said that you should try and stitch like the end of a shoelace onto this and then thread it through, but I just feel like that's just kind of not really, I don't wanna say worth it, but kind of not worth it. I just feel like that's a lot of extra trouble when you can just, of course, just use the safety pin. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Basically guys, I just cut the zip tie. I didn't actually film that part because it got pretty difficult and I kind of like how to wrestle with the doll on the floor, but I was able to cut zip, the zip tie in half. It did take a little while, um, but now, ha ha, free of the zip tie. So now I can just take my doll's head off. It's kind of creepy guys, so I'm just gonna set that over to the side. Okay, so now comes Part where we actually make the new neck, we actually, you know, not make the new necktie, but get the new necktie. So I am just taking the safety pins and pinning them onto the edge of this ribbon. Or it's also a cord, you guys can buy some at the fabric store. It's up close. If you only have one safety pin, that's okay. I'm only going to use one safety pin as well, but you can do it with two and put the other safety pin on the bottom side, although you don't really need it. It does. It might come in handy if your safety pin accidentally gets lost, but because this coal is so small, I don't think it's really necessary. Again, you're gonna to wanna to try and find the smallest safety pin you can find. And I have this one, so let's go ahead and run it. Here is kind of a close-up. We're just gonna to wanna to put it through the little hole right here. And what you do is what I call whenever I'm sewing gather, 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 pull. So you basically just push against the back of the safety pin and you just kind of pull the back of it to make sure everything's going through. I'm going to take out some of the stuffing because it's just really tight. And I might actually have to do some restringing because I just found one of the restringing joint things in there. Awesome. Take some of this in. Yeah, it looks like a whole joint is disconnected. <laughs> okay, we'll get to that later. Um, all right. Anyways, let's just go ahead and push back through. It's gonna be kind of hard here at the shoulder joints because there's a little fold of fabric right there at the shoulders. Just gathering and pulling. This is pretty easy. It's just gather on the safety pin. So you get all this fabric on the bottom of the safety pin, and then you just pull it. I think it's pretty easy, uh, but that's just me, I guess. So now I have the safety pin out. So I just have my two threads, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna try and cut it pretty close so I can reuse this string for another doll. You're gonna want them to be pretty long. I'm keeping mine about halfway down their waist. And then cutting it off, and now we're done. All we need to do now is to put the head back on, and I'm gonna be doing that in a different video because right now I'm gonna take out all the stuffing and do some other tutorials. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was really useful. Um, the, new ne the next string is the most important part of the doll. So if your doll does not have one, then it is important, it is like vital to your doll's survival that your doll gets a neck string. So I hope this was important, I hope important, I hope this was helpful to you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.
拜。